Hey, the name's Cruel, that's King Rob Rule, and welcome to my no-nonsense weapon guide series for Monster Hunter Rise. These videos serve as tools to make first-time weapon use less daunting. This is in no way an in-depth guide or even a full toolkit of any given weapon. It is simply a starting point to give the fundamentals of the weapons and my own personal recommendations. If you're looking to find optimization, you won't find it here. And with that, let's get started. The Hunting Horn is known for the ability to buff yourself and your teammates, but it is in no way a support weapon. It's stylish, fun and easy to use, and is more than viable as a solo weapon. Before any encounter with the Hunting Horn, make sure you play self-improvement by pressing ZR. See how much faster you move compared to not using it? The Hunting Horn doesn't have a draw attack like the rest of the weapons. However, this is good for this weapon, as it allows you to draw into any note as demonstrated here. You'll see your songs listed here. Each hunting horn has its own unique set of songs, so choose one based on the kinds of buffs you'd like applied. To play a song, simply press the corresponding button, or note, twice. Alternatively, if you have played each note at least once on the bar, you can activate an attack called the Magnificent Trio. The input for this attack will be displayed here if you are able to play it. This attack does a lot of hits and plays all your songs at once. Honestly, I would recommend just using a combination of notes and using the Magnificent Trio as much as possible. You can get away with using that strategy and being extremely effective while doing it. Hunting horn combos aren't that important for beginners, but for the sake of giving you some fundamentals, X notes are left swings and A notes are right swings. You can loop these together infinitely. You can weave these options together however you like for experimentation. Most combinations can be used without dropping the combo. Just remember to use your Magnificent Trio when you can, and you'll be fine. While in battle, you'll see this gauge fill up as you attack the monster. When it's full, it will glow yellow. This will signal that you can play your Infernal Melody. To play the Infernal Melody, simply press ZR at the end of your Magnificent Trio. Apart from looking cool as hell, it significantly boosts the attack of you and your allies. Now onto Y-Bug attacks. First up is ZL plus X, an attack that will have you launching forward while attacking. It can armor through some weaker attacks too. You can also play an infernal melody at the end of the animation by pressing ZR. Next is ZL plus A. This is your big boy Unga Bunga attack. It is just ridiculously strong. However, it has a long wind up and costs two wire bugs. Not only that, but the recharge on the wire bugs is extremely slow, so if you mess up, you can end up in a lot of trouble. Okay, let's put it all together in practice. So before doing anything, we buff ourselves with self-improvement. Don't forget to do this. Just like the hammer, the hunting horn is a blunt weapon so we want to be attacking the head as much as possible. This is where we're most effective. Notice how the Magnificent Trio even lets me armor through this weak attack. It's just so potent. Here I'm just showing how strong the ZL plus A attack is. For essentially a single hit attack, it's up there with the greatsword for power. Here I use ZL plus X to armor through the fire and then unleash my infernal melody. I tried to go for a Magnificent Trio to follow up, but you can't win them all, right? At this point, all my assault on the head has really worn Rathian out. I thought it would be good to show the wire bug gauge here to demonstrate how long the cooldown of ZL plus A is. So yeah, the move is long over, I've had time to sharpen my weapon, and I barely have my first Y-Bug back. In short, use with caution. Anyway, that was Hunting Horn in 5 minutes. Don't forget to look up more in-depth guides once you get a feel for the weapon. But honestly, this is probably one of the most fun weapons for beginners to use, and feel powerful while doing so. No crazy combos required. Next up is Switch Axe. And like my boy Sonic here, gotta go fast. <laughs> 